Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm back with Microsoft OneNote for Windows 10. I'm continuing on with my series with the different levels to show you how to get more out of your OneNote experience and how to take great notes. So let's get started here today. I'm gonna to show you some more tips on how to do things inside Microsoft OneNote for Windows 10. If you didn't take a look at my level one video for this one, I'll put the link down in the description. And remember, I am on Windows 10. I explain kind of the difference between the different versions of OneNote. So if you're curious about that, check that out in the first video. But so for today, I'm continuing on. I have uh, the similar theme that I worked through with my level one here. Uh, so I have my Mexico theme. I was planning a trip in here and I've just put in some more content and uh, organized it a bit for the example here today. But the first thing I just wanna show you you, uh, is just to do some more fat formatting on this one and so I kind of just showed you how to put things in and format the text in the last one but you can format your pages it's pretty easy to do uh, this time I'm going to go up to the tab where it says view and I just want you to take a look at the page color and rule uh, lines and so I'm just going to go to rule lines at first you can uh, pick what how many lines on it if you want you can go and I'll just pick this one here so you can see it uh, gives that line paper look to it so this is good if you're going to line things up uh, just if that's the way your mind works and you like those lines to kind of just organize for me I don't use them a lot of times because I just use it like as a large canvas where I can just throw things onto my thoughts and my ideas and go from there but do uh, if this works good for you just remember to go to the rule lines up here and then you can work through your colors too so uh, we could go through pick our, uh, a different color of the page and quickly change it the other thing I just wanted to point out and I did mention the right clicking before on any of these if you wanted to format this over here and I'll just go back to the Mexico one uh, you can see that uh, we can go through and change section color over here so if you did want a different color you can see how you can quickly change those two I just wanted to re-mention that right clicking on any of these so that you can kind of get that list of all the different easy actions that you can do whether it be on your sections or on your uh, pages too. Uh, okay, so the next thing I just want to move on over to is I'm going to go back to my home here and I've talked about uh, last time on this, uh, I showed you I went through most of these tools, just your basic text formatting, but I just wanted to point out the tags in this one because the tags can be used to kind of, uh, I kind of first think, think of them as just being able to draw your attention to something on a page, but you can actually search these up too and I'll show you how to do that now first of all uh, to put a tag and I'm just going to use this example as an example of something I've already written I'm going to go to uh, this list I'm just going to click in here and let's say I've decided okay I want uh, to make this important so I can go ahead and click and it adds a star you can see that there's different ones that you can add so if I go down uh, you know maybe remember for later so maybe that's a uh, remember to uh, check this hotel out for later and come back to it uh, but it's more important to be able to find these tags afterwards before I show you how to search for them I just wanted to point out if you go back to it you can create your own new tag too so if you go ahead and create a tag you can see over on the right you can name your tag and this is a important especially in the search and you can go and pick out you know if you had an idea pick the light bulb and name it idea like this so we could just type it in pick our uh, our light bulb hit create and then we're gonna have it here so if I go to my tags you can see it's right there all right so they're pretty easy to use you can go through and uh, uh, pick uh, create new ones pick each one that you want how do you find them so on anything if you go over to the search here so if I go search like this you can see right away there's important and different ones that we have remember for later so if I pick important you can see this was the important one right here now I'm just gonna go back to this one I just want to show you I'm gonna pick question mark for this one just uh, just for an example here now notice that uh, if I go down now, so if I go back, it doesn't necessarily show up. So if I come back, I'm looking for my tags, uh, it's not going to come up as uh, as it. So what I need to do is actually search for the tag so you can see it's question. So if I go ahead and now I have to go type question, 
up here, you can see then it pops up. You just have to remember the names of your tags. And that's why I said, if you want to remember what you create, just then you can do this search and it will show it down here. So it's a good way to make things stand out is with tags and then you can search for them later. The next tool of what I want to show you inside Microsoft OneNote is the translator feature. And so what I did here, I just set up this little table here. I created a table of words to learn. Let's say I want to go somewhere and these are some, maybe some keywords that I want to learn. And I just want to translate them on this page so maybe I can practice. So what I'm going to do is under the view tab, just check up top, click view, and then you see translate here. So when I click translate here, uh, notice it says selection and page and set language. Uh, nothing happens on the selection because I don't have anything selected. But if I go to, I could do the whole page, but for this purpose is I'm just gonna do selection. So I'm gonna highlight hello, hit translate selection. So now what happens is that you can see over here, I have this selection. The page is over here where it goes through and auto detects because it would find out that it's English and it would move it over. But uh, that's something you can play with. I just want to show you a few examples. You can see how I've set it to Spanish already, but there are many languages from the list that you can choose from. Uh, so I'm just going to go through. You can see the translation uh, the translations are here and maybe some other ones here. If I like what it says, where do I? I'm going to put this on the other side of the table and I'm going to hit insert. So I could do, you know, to a single word like this. You can see how quickly it changes. I could go ahead. I want to go to the other side here. I want to insert it and I'll just go to this larger one. And again, how fast it goes in like this. So I could do it, use translation in that way. Uh, but even if you just grab a larger chunk of text like this, you can see it it moves it pretty quickly over to Spanish. I don't I can't uh, vouch for the how accurate it is to uh, uh, for it for the translation, but I think it would get the message across uh, if you're trying to communicate and find out key parts of of the language or what's written to understand it. Now, the next thing I want to show you is another great tool. And I really look at this one more maybe in the learning world. But for uh, anybody, uh, this is a great tool. And Microsoft has it built into a lot of their apps like uh, Word and other ones. But we have Immersive Reader. And what Immersive Reader does, so I'm going to click on Immersive Reader. And it just took that page uh, and it, it it's going to read it to me if I want. But it can do other things too. So if I just click on Rock. Uh, you can rock uh, it will just say that one word or I can go to the next one formation and I could go word by word I could hit play down at the bottom rock formation beside body water to loom and it will just read through this but you can even break this down I really like this tool uh, I know in the education system we use like read write but I really like what immersive reader uh, is doing and how it connects with all the Microsoft products but uh, you can play around with the different uh, you know if you want the text size different you can increase the spacing depending on what will help a person read we have our font uh, there are themes all through here go through I could turn on okay what are the nouns and right away uh, it starts to go through and highlight some of the words so you can just slide them off you can see how it will go through to the verbs after that but you can play with all these different settings here and at the very bottom you could have a male or female voice and change the speed so at any point you could go down I could go pick an area I could jump ahead you can see how it even gives a picture to help understand uh, and then I can just hit play. Travel through the Mayan jungle on this action path. Just like that. So great tool inside Microsoft OneNote to use. The last tool that I want to show you in this tutorial here today is the researcher tool. So where it is, is I, if I go over to insert the tab and look in the ribbon at the very end, you see I have researcher. Before I go to researcher, I'm going to create a new page here as a sub page under T Tulum. I'm just going to right click new page and I'm going to call this, uh, we'll just call this researcher. Just so uh, let's say I'm going to do dive deeper with uh, uh, things I want to know about Tulum. I'm going to just move this up right click and I'm going to create a sub page so now I have Tulum as my main page here Tulum is actually a sub page of the East Coast but I have another sub page here 
Okay, so the researcher tool under the insert tab, all the way at the end of the ribbon, we have researcher. And what this allows me to do is search right inside Microsoft OneNote. So if I go ahead and maybe I'm looking for Tulum, I can type in Tulum here and I get some information. You can see uh, I'll have these relevant topics here. As I go down, I have a journal article. I have, uh, everything's listed as all, but I could click on journals websites uh, so it will filter it out through here so let's say if i just wanted this to loom right here and it opens this up this is just from wikipedia uh, if i want to insert this in uh, you can see if i hit the uh, plus right here add to page it goes right inside of it here i have the link uh, to the Wikipedia page that I can click on and go to. Uh, under the websites here, uh, any of these ones, if I just click on the plus, you can see how it just will add a title and a link. So maybe I'm just looking for these websites and I'm just clicking and added them after. So the researcher tool gives you a way that you can research right inside uh, of your Microsoft OneNote without even having to leave. So it's very efficient that way to be looking through there. Now that one thing I just want to mention in the researcher uh, tip here, it is part of the subscription model of OneNote. So as like I have a subscription to Microsoft Office 365, so it's there. If you're using the free version, this is one of the ones I talked about in the level one. Uh, you, uh, the free version is great. Most of the features are there, but this is one of the ones that is part of the subscription model that you do have to pay for. So if it's not there, that is why. So this is the end of my uh, tutorial today on level two for Microsoft OneNote for uh, Windows 10. I, I do have a level three coming out, so make sure you watch for that. Let me know how you're using OneNote and maybe what things you'd like to learn about OneNote. I know I have a lot of people asking me about printing and some other things, and I'll show you that in the upcoming levels that I have that will be coming out. Thanks for watching on Teachers Tech this week. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.